if you guys remember on this problem, this is the problem I asked you guys to go ahead and do um, at the beginning of class. Just like if you, if you remember when we were doing, oh, where did my thing go? You guys moved it. So if you guys remember, just like kind of polynomials, we have the uh, distributive properties. So you're going to want to make sure you distribute that 3i to the 2 and the 2i. So basically, you have 3i times 2 plus 3i, because it's a positive 3i, times 2i. Well, 3i times 2, you can only multiply your real numbers. So that's going to be 6i. And then 3 times 2 is going to be a positive 6 times i squared. But remember last class period, we talked about i squared represents negative 1, right? So I have 6i plus 6 times negative 1. So therefore, that gives us 6i minus 6. However, ladies and gentlemen, this is part of the reason why I look at the things holistically. If you were to type this on tomorrow into the, into the math test, and you type in 6 minus, 6 minus 6, or 6i minus 6, guess what? Your answer is wrong. Okay? It will be wrong. Because the main important thing that we're going to write, whenever we're writing complex numbers, we always want them to be in standard form. So I like online tests because it's very quick to give you guys your stats and everything back. However, the problem with that is if you would have given me 6 minus 